10 News. Yellow County's race for district attorney is growing more contentious tonight. Campaign signs are vanishing and there's accusations that some signs are violating election laws. Tonight we're getting answers on just what rules are required when campaign signs go up. Campaign controversy in Yolo County with both candidates in the district attorney race saying their signs are being vandalized or have gone missing. Incumbent Jeff Reisig says a number of his banners have been stolen or defaced, like this one, where someone spray painted the F word and other obscenities on it. He's being challenged by Cynthia Rodriguez, who says her signs have also been removed. I think it's really sad to see the campaign come down to this bizarre uh, fight over yard signs. Please get your hands off my private property. This video shows a man taking down a Cynthia Rodriguez sign near Woodland. One of her campaign supporters shot the footage. I said, excuse me, you know, stop that. And, uh, and he tried to say that he had permission and I knew he didn't have permission because I was on Caltrans property. But CBS 13 tracked down that man who tells a different story. To be uh, con in a confrontation like that uh, took me off guard. Timothy Blank says the sign was on private property and the landowner asked him to remove it. We spoke on the phone and um, yeah, he gave me permission to take it down. So where are people allowed to post campaign signs? We're getting answers. The state prohibits the placement of temporary political signs within the state highway right of way. And in Yolo County, political signs are not allowed along county roads. Signs can be placed on private property only with the landowner's permission. Jeff Reisig tells CBS 13 that his opponent's supporters have not been following the rules, calling their conduct patently illegal and harassing. But Cynthia Rodriguez says she just wants to focus on the issues that matter most to voters. I find it embarrassing for all of us that some people have resorted to chopping down signs. It's kind of like a high school election. At least one campaign says that they are now putting Apple AirTags on their signs to be able to track them if they do get stolen.